allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Kathy Altensee. Here. Melinda Cook. Here. Kevin McElwain. Here. Patrick Sellers. Here. Um, so we have. Troy, a, Joy is reported absent. Right. So we have a quorum. Okay, the first order of minutes is approval of minutes for the October 3rd, 2022 meeting. And a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Motion I. All three seconds. All right. McElwain and I. There's some over there. No, no, no. I think I'm good. Okay. I think I'm good. Yep. Okay. I've read them already. So I'm going to go. Good. Any questions on minutes, Trustee? No? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. The next order is the approval of bills paper. And a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Motion by Cook. Second by Robinson. Take a look at the bills paper if you haven't done so already. <clears throat> Isn't the rent for township offices usually in the upper part? Um. Yes, but with the new system that we, uh, the clerk books that we adopted to, she had to change some of the some of the forms in order for it to record properly. Say it again, Maida. So, um, doesn't that. she split it though too? Mm -hmm. The general assistance mm -hmm. comes out of the one section, mm -hmm. and then um, the assessor clerk and the other offices come out of the right. general fund above. Okay. So since this is the general assistance office. This comes out of general assistance. Okay. So, and, and. But it did split it up yes, differently it did. than the other, so that yes. you saw it in another section. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so A for assessor so and that's G for why. general assistance. Where you at? It says assessor on the, the yeah. one up top. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like that. But right, that is the first time it's appeared in that mm -hmm. section. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the first Pretty time nice. it's appeared. shows up together on most of the things under the general fund, mm -hmm. except for that rent mm -hmm. or anything else associated with the mm -hmm. um, general assistance. Right, Catherine? Yes. Okay. All right, any more questions on claims in the van? <coughs> Think that there is none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Cook. Yes. McElwain. Aye. Alton C. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. Motion passes. Okay, trustees. Next order of business is the presentation of the tax levy for fiscal year 2023-2024. I will need a motion and a second um, to open. I'm going to hand it out. It's not for discussion tonight. And then we will keep the motion open, Mike, so we can have discussion at the next meeting, right? <clears throat> a motion to approve with the second and then a, a motion to postpone until the next meeting and the second and you vote only on the motion to postpone. Thank you, Mike. That was clear as mud. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to hand this out, right? So I we need a, do the motion. I know. Okay. I need a motion to approve first, okay? So I'm handing this out for a motion to approve. Then, then, then we're going to do a mo then we're going to do a motion to postpone. Am and I then right? Then we Mike? vote. And then we then we we're going to vote on this on December fifth. No, but then we vote on the motion, motion to, to postpone. postpone. Right, motion to postpone. We vote on motion to postpone. Then then we're going to have the official vote on this on December fifth. So I need a motion to approve on the floor now. So moved. And the second. Second. Okay. I'll give it. Now I'm going to hand it to you guys. <laughs> right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody gets a copy of this. There you go. 
Thank you. Go. Did you get one? You one, one and go. Thank you. And you can give one uh, like to we're Mike. Playing ping pong. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, Mike, we have the motion to approve on the floor. So we do the motion to postpone now. We have something make a motion to postpone, second it, and then have a vote on the motion to postpone. Okay. All right, so Can I make a motion, motion to postpone. Can the motion to postpone till December 5th be appropriate? Mm. Sure, but okay. that's not a clean. No. 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 like three no, meetings. No. No. It would be, no, you have a me meeting in November. Okay. Right. All right. That's right. what I wanted to know. Right. Okay. People may have questions that come up uh, that you can talk about. Okay. Right. At the, uh, at the November meeting. Okay. Right. All right, so make a motion to postpone mm -hmm. until our December, until December 5th. No. no. November, is it November Listen, 5th? Yes. We, it's the, the next no. meeting is November uh, 7th. November yep. 7th. So we need a motion to postpone, Mike, until November 7th meeting? Correct. Oh. Okay. Motion to, post, to postpone until November 7th meeting. Second. All right. So we have the motion to postpone uh, to December, to, to November 7th by Trustee McElwain. A second by Trustee Ardency. So, do I do a voice vote, Mike? Or yeah, you do a voice vote on this. I'll take your final action. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That was. That was interesting. Very interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Now I am going to hand out our uh, fourth. Tax disbursement. I'm gonna do some serious handing out here. Okay, okay, let's hit me with the. Uh, oh, there. Okay. Uh, she already have. She already has one in, in her folder. So they're all together. So. There we go. So, all right. So now, here you go. I got you. You need yes. one for Mike as well, too. All right. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to hand out our expenditure to budget report. Okay? So you guys get a whole lot of handouts today. We like. like that. Here we go. Okay. Something I'm going to. There go. That's for you, and I put one up here for Mike. Okay. Trustees, um, we uh, we gave it a valiant effort trying to get security cameras in our neighborhoods. It's not going to work. Um, uh, for one, um, we were, I was told that solar power cameras wouldn't work around here too well because we don't have enough uh, sunlight throughout the year. And next, um, ComEd was not, would not allow us to use their electrical poles. So we, 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 we allocated money, if you look on your expenditure to budget report, we allocated uh, money in grant programs. We spent 100000 in grant programs. We have $100,000 left. Here's what I'm proposing to do. Um, over the last uh, few months, I have received phone calls and have had various conversations with, with some local pastors. And they have been telling me about how some of their congregation members and some of our seniors have been skipping taking their medication in order to uh, purchase other things and make, and make ends meet for themselves. Oh, yeah. I find it unacceptable. I find it very unacceptable. I don't, I, I don't like that. Um, so I, what I would like to do is I would like to give some more uh, grant funding to the Senior Resource Center for that purpose and for the purpose of picking up medication for our seniors, taking our seniors to and from doctor's appointments, and also having uh, food delivered to them if they need food delivered to them, if they are homebound and they can't get, get food delivered. Um, this is a totally, I'm sorry. Would that be the whole 100,000? No, 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 no. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My, my, my thoughts would be 60,000 
for that plus seven thousand dollars for the administration of the program this is a big program and it's going to take a lot of uh, a, a lot of work um, they have to develop relationships with the with the pharmacies, which they already have those relationships developed already. So, if a senior calls in and they need help with their medication, they can help them purchase their medication. And they also need to get the word out because there's a lot of seniors that don't know anything about right. We and you know, and the lawn mowing, the shoveling, right. Stuff like we that. The, the the way I see it. Um, this is reinvesting money back into the community mm -hmm. and where it's needed. We, 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 we do a good job of, of plugging holes. We do a good job here. And this is a hole that, that, that I didn't realize that we, that, that we have. And it's the, the, the more I hear about it, the more phone calls I get from seniors, mm -hmm. can you help me with my medication? I've been splitting my medication in half or I've been skipping taking it Throughout to, to make it Which last longer, good. so that's not good. So, Trusty Cook, what do you? Well, because well, I I mean I know nothing about the mess of the healthcare system, but um, there feels like there should be some sort of case manager for these individuals, or I don't know, is there? Like, what is the health, ins is this Medicaid type people or Medicare? Medicare, yeah, mm -hmm. people, and then like. It feels like those there there's probably resources available that need to be coordinated well right like the pro like there's mm -hmm. a lot of programs that like help or even just like uh, a lot of maybe senior citizens don't know how to um, navigate like there's a lot of programs that like just help you reduce the cost of various medications well, so that they are not so expensive mm -hmm. so that that is not well issue. when I spoke with the uh, senior resource center about it. I was like, well, you know, there has to be something out there that can. We don't know anything about it. We don't. So, so minimally, when, like prescription or like that, right? That, that app like that, that mm -hmm. you just like mm -hmm. immediately reduces the cost mm -hmm. by like a million percent. And if you go to generic, if there's mm -hmm. a generic form, Con like, it cuts yeah, resource it coordination. Way down. Mm -hmm. Well, I, here's the way I see it. If we can help. Let's do it. We can monitor. We can also talk to, to the Senior Research Center about getting more education out there about things that people can, but, 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 but for now, let's try and get people over the hump if we can. Now, I'm not saying we're going to do this every year, but, but if, we can get, if we can get them over the hump now and we can get them educated on what's out there and what's available. Right. I think like my, my point is that the, like, because the Senior Resource Center is, in fact, uh, like a resource coordinator, mm -hmm. essentially, right? Yes. So, like, the just want to make sure the money is, at, like, best utilized to maximize uh -huh. the resources. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. The new um. thing that President Biden signed after October 1st, um, diabetic medicine can't exceed $35. Yeah. And okay. I know... Mm -hmm. Some maybe had to pay as much as seven hundred and fifty dollars for it. So that's going to be a helpful relief. And mm -hmm. then after the first of the year, they won't have to pay more than two thousand dollars for any medication for the seniors. So two thousand like a month? No, for the yeah, year. For the okay. Year. No, that's for the year. That's for the most that they'll have to pay out of pocket for okay. a year for their medication. Um, this will help them get until mm -hmm. that is okay. initiated, mm -hmm. because some of this medication they're taking. If you have an advantage program, like a supplemental, mm -hmm. then they take care of a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But like my, some of my husband's medications, it's in the tier one, and he has to pay full price. Yeah. And some of these people that are taking, especially cancer drugs, they're, they're yeah. just really horrific. When my son had to take this one drug, it was $3,000 a pill. Yes, this a is two a day. Yeah, wild. So I know. So that's a lot of what it is, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, and then after the first of the year, we social, or we senior citizens. Yeah, we get an increase. We get a little bit of an increase. Yeah, but then, but, but then they'll take it away from the Medicare, for the money but, they make for the medication. Well, and they already do take 150 off the top of my Medicare. Well, but it's a good thing because... I don't understand. 
just not just not having to worry about getting a doctor bill because that 150 well now is now covering it what the worry is now is that if they get the social security bump that bumps some of them out of out, out of eligibility for life heat and think well, that, 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 this is what this is what's already being it's being discussed it's, ar it's already being discussed it's, it's going to bump some of them out of out of eligibility oh. for 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 things like life heat and, and things like a snap benefit it's going to bump them out of i think a lot of, of people range. So, i don't i don't think enough people realize like the the way and i think we talk a lot about filling in the gaps, but like if you are making an, an income that allows you to qualify for stuff that is giving you so much resources beyond the like $5 more an hour you're gonna make that it will do nothing for you because you're losing all of that mm -hmm. in the amount of resources that you no longer will qualify for. And to not qualify for healthcare is like, I think for many people, they would rather not make the extra money to know that they have guaranteed a health care that they can, guaranteed. can't they? Hmm? After age 66, they can make as much as they want to. I don't know how that works. You might That's how it works. I don't know My husband's 70. And so I'm going to hand this out. You guys can look at it. We can, we can discuss it at the next meeting. So just take a look. I'm, I just want to hand this out to you guys. You guys take a look. That's a Huh? Big packet. Ah, it's 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 like the regular. whereas whereas yeah it's, whereas it where, is yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of mm -hmm. We want to thank our great attorney for the whereas. It. <laughs> thank you, Mike, for the whereas. It. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So that's uh that's all I have for the so the next order benefit assessment report. Assessment. I just want to give you a heads up that um, our workforce center that we had for over ten years. I've been told that it's time to replace because the car doesn't find a car, but it needs to be. Oh, so it's like, like a big, like big. It's, a, it's a big printer. It has, yeah, um, it has three trace papers. So you can have that eight and a half by 14, that eight and a half by 11, and then it has another one of trace. You can put it in the, the larger paper. Um, because of all the um, appeals we do and handle through order of review and the information and evidence, the FDA already. Um, it's a color laser printer. If the one I was looking at that would be comparable to what we have is the price I found was fourteen hundred nine, one thousand four hundred nine dollars. Oh, that's I not bad. That's, I thought you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking no, fourteen no, thousand. <laughs> Okay. Fourteen thousand. I was imagining like one of those big, huge, like Cause school yeah. printers. Because I, because I was like, buy a used car, fix the printer. Buy a used car, fix the printer. Nowadays. We paid thirteen seventy eight. One thousand three hundred seventy eight for the other one ten years ago. Okay, inflation. Wow. Yeah. 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 So I just wanted to give you a heads up. As soon as I can yeah. order, I contact the city just to make sure the specs work with our network. So. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. But I just want to give you a heads up before you start. Good job. Okay, that's all I have to say. All right. Okay. Next up is trustee support. Trustees. I would like to apologize for comparing what I know about Medicare and bringing my name into it because I should have just made it. This is what I know about Medicare. I shouldn't have given you know, anything personal, because it goes across the board for people. Okay, I understand. All right. Next order of business is public comments. Any public comments? No public. Seeing that there is no public comments. Any other business coming before the town? Trustees, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn until Monday, November 7th, 2022 at 4.30 p.m. So, so moved. moved. Oh, Second. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Second would be Cook. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.